Hey guys, what's up? I am here to give you guys a recap on the new chapter of One Piece, which is on chapter 963, called Becoming Samurai. Now, this chapter was really, was a little bit more of Odin's backstory, and was still in the very far past compared to like him getting closer to the present as we all know it. So if anything else, let's just get this recap started. We have to it that the chapter opens up with Zoe having to like Zoe the elephant having to walk around the sea for many centuries, you know, and we see to it that um we see a narration where it says long long ago, centuries back, we minks made a solemn vow to the Kozuki clan Samurai Wano. We are family. We promise that we would always assist one another when faced with hardships. We don't know when that time will come, but we will soon come about, you know? And we see too, we get to see a small Inigurashi and Nikamumushi, and they actually went out to sea when they were little kids to go find the land of Wano. And we see too that these guys were being bullied pretty badly, and they were actually being accompanied by Kawamatsu, and he is a kappa. He calls himself a kappa. And we see too that they are being bullied pretty badly by the humans, and Odin comes in to rescue them and beats up the people who are bullying them. And we see to it that, um, that um, Inugarashi and Nekomomushi were introduced to Odin and Kuri Castle and many others. And we get to see that they are being fed by Odin's culinary skills, you know, of Odin. We all know that. But we see to it that Nekomomushi says, I may be hungry, but this is way too hot. And he throws the freaking hot pot, which is very rude. But he seems like to me he has a cat's tongue, which is something that's translated as it's a common phrase in Japanese to describe when someone can't eat food that's too hot. And I'm like, for real, man? What the blazing pickles? But aside from that, we see Kawamatsu eating the food off the ground, and he says, and we see to it that, like, um, Kawamatsu explained himself to Odin about who he is. And, he, and we get to know Kawamatsu was actually a fishman, but... We see to it that they were unable to return home because of discrimination and and due to her, her mother's dying breath. She says, fishmen are always discriminated against this world. You will likely, more likely to survive if you claim to be a kappa, you know? And therefore, that's when Kawamatsu calls himself kappa, you know? And he's been feeding off the leftovers that others throw away. I'm grateful not only did you save me, but you fed me delicious food, you know? Even Nekomomushi says, you know, I forgot my manners. I wasted a lot of food, but I can't eat something that this is way too hot, though. I'm thinking my mind, I guess Nekomomushi has a very insensitive tongue when it comes to hot stuff. And we see to it that Odin says, you know, meeting you guys made me realize that there's a lot of creatures in this world that I have yet to realize. I'm really excited for my next voyage, you know? And we see to it that, um, we get to see that Denjiro, or the guy with the black sunglasses ask Odin, you know, we are really running low on funds. You do realize that, right? But did you just lend money to Orochi to that guy again? And Odin's like, uh, yeah, the guy is actually on his own now. He used to work with Yasui, and I can't just leave him to die. So Odin has a good personality, but yeah. Anyways, we get to see a scene where Raizo, along with some other people, are trying to rob Yasui, you know? And apparently... Yasui caught them, tied them up, and he goes like, What the heck is wrong with you guys? Are you trying to steal so much money for what? And they go like, Because Odin needed money. If you're going to kill us, then just do it. And we see to it that Yasui actually was going to give them the money that they are trying to steal, you know? They go like, Are you serious? What will happen to you? You Hakamai will run out of money. But Yasui persists that he gives them money anyway and says, I want you to take this too. And we see to it that um, Yasui tells these guys in a strict manner by telling them, you do love Odin, right? Then I want you to use this money to dress properly, learn some manners, buy some books, fill yourselves with some knowledge and wisdoms. If you hoodlums like you guys right now become retainers to Odin right now, you will bring shame to his name. After giving consideration how Yasui gave him very good compassion they decide to take his money and use it to become better people which is a good thing because i mean like um if they don't become better people they will only bring shame to odin even odin's like how come you guys are acting so strangely he even and they remember what yasui told them by saying one day 
one day Odin's gonna be Shogun of Wano, and you people are to support him through it all. And you must be samurai to to this entire country. A servant's duty is to protect their master. All you, all of you must make yourselves the capitals. No, the entire country's guardians, no matter what. And we see to it that we go into another time skip where it goes three years later, thirty years from the present, the flower capital. And we see to it that the Daimo of Kuri is coming along, and we see the mountain god, and I mean the mountain god, along with this child, seems to be okay. You know the mountain god that got sliced in half by Odin? Yeah. He got reattached, apparently, and is still alive, which is to my utter shock, honestly. I'm like, holy shish kebab, dude. And we see to it that everybody is shocked to see Odin's retainers to be so well-mannered, dressed, and everything else all together, you know? And we see to it that, like, um, that Odin went to go visit his father, apparently, and we see to it that they end up having some talk here and there, and, of course, like, um, of course, what makes it worse right now is that when he visits his father, that will be the last time that his father, that the two will ever speak. And the page ends up with white beard and i mean the white beard having to crash land on on wano country and later on realizes that they're in trouble right now going like hey man can you guys go find some food or something grab some resources and we see to it that that odin's retainers are really concerned right now knowing that odin's gonna go to the shore of where the pirates were at and we see to it that odin and Whitebeard actually clash they actually clash Whitebeard tells his crew to stand back because something incredible is, incredible is coming. And Odin uses his two sword style and clashes against Whitebeard's weapon. And we see to it that Odin's like, Odin's like, hey, my name is Kozuki Odin. I know we don't know each other, but I want you to let me join your crew. And Whitebeard could only stare on in shock, go like, what the heck are you talking about, you know? This chapter was actually pretty cool, you know. I mean, we get to see, like, um, what you may call it, um, that we see Nekomumushi and Yugurashi having to go become Odin's following, becoming Odin's retainers, you know. And eventually we see to it that, that Odin's retainers will later on become better people and well-mannered, dressed properly, be appropriate or professional in other cases, you know. And Whitebeard comes off towards the end of the chapter, man. That was pretty cool. And we get to see young Marco, dude. That's really awesome. <laughs> and, you know, Odin and Whitebeard clash, and Odin's like, let me join your crew and be um, part of your voyage, you know? I'm thinking in my mind, oh my gosh, dude. Very funny stuff. Anyways, um, pretty cool chapter. We're still in Odin's backstory, which is okay. I mean, like, um, I like to know everything about Odin before how he was, how he was, and by then how he came to Goldie Roger's ship and etc. Because we all know how Odin is and we get to know a lot of information about him and etc. You know? Looking forward to the next chapter. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm off as little people. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time. Alright? Peace out. Bye bye. Toot, toot, toot.